You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters. Well, in case you have not noticed, something very strange is going on over at NFL Network, which is also NFL Media. Now, it wasn't that many weeks ago, and I believe I did this video over on the big channel, that uh, the NF, it, it's, lo- it's not been a secret that the NFL has been wanting to sell off or hand over the NFL media part of the business. Red Zone, NFL Network, and NFL Plus, and the other stuff, NFL Films and all that that makes up NFL media, they would love to give that to somebody else. In other words, they have they have talked behind the scenes about ESPN taking it over, all that kind of thing. Well, Good Morning Football went on a hiatus, and evidently they're moving to L.A. Kyle Brandt put out this long, strange goodbye that felt more like something else. And today, NFL Network became a bloodbath of their personalities that got fired out the door. And it's some very big names, including Melissa Stark. But Andrew Siciliano, who's been there forever, is also one of the people that got cut. This surprised a lot of people. Something is going on with NFL Network right now. Several NFL Network personalities spoke out Thursday as they digested the news of colleagues Melissa Stark, Andrew Siciliano, James Palmer, good NFL insider, gone, and Will Silva being cut as part of cost-effective maneuvers. You know what's strange about this, guys? The NFL is literally printing money right now. What are they doing exactly? I, I, I... I can't quite understand why they want to get rid of this, but they've been wanting out of it for years now. So you just got to wonder. Reporter Jane Slater shared several messages on social media stating how Stark's departure, quote, hurts on a different level. I went to college and looked at the TV and said, I want to be her. The ultimate treat professionally was not only landing on the same roster as her, but working with her on NFL 360. You are kind, smart, determined, and you have become a true friend. Love that we will still get to see your talents on NBC. And there, of course, is a legendary Melissa Stark, and she's been around long enough you could call her that. Stark, who worked as a host and reporter with NFL Network since 2011, is entering her third season as a sideline reporter on NBC Sunday Night Football. She replaced Michelle Tafoya. She addressed her exit on Thursday on X, a great 12-year run at NFL Network. We'll miss working with so many people. I'll see you on Sunday nights this fall at NBC Sports. Start posted in response to The Athletic's Andrew Marshan, who first reported the news of the cuts. In a separate post, Slater praised Palmer as a brother and a friend stating in part, quote, the most versatile reporter we have who is incredibly well-liked and respected within the walls of the league. And, uh, yeah, there was, there was some real reaction to this uh, online. It's, it's pretty amazing. Uh, James Palmer, I think he actually made a statement on here, and uh, Ian Rappaport uh, came back and said something back to him. Here it is right here. This is uh, James, Palmer, uh, James Palmer's statement. NFL Network has bought out my contract, and my time has come to an end. It was my dream job. I loved every minute of it, and that's mostly because of the people I got to work with and the friendships that will last well beyond any, quote, job. I'm excited for what's to come. Not sure what that is exactly. I've learned a lot in the last decade at NFL Network. I'm better for it. I mean, some names right here. Ian Rappaport, you are the best, buddy. Okay, that was short and sweet. Diana Rossini, it's obvious how loved and respected you are in the business as someone who worked alongside you for almost 10 years on football fields all over the country. I saw you up close and personal, or up close, and how many players and coaches in the league enjoy talking football with you. Mike Garofolo. 
and we're all better for having worked with you. Love you, pal. So much to be written for you, Meg and Nix. Can't wait to see it unfold. That is pretty unbelievable. Tom Pelissero, love you, brother. Yeah, lot of reaction. A lot of reaction from around uh, the NFL. And then uh, Andrew Siciliano right here. Uh, Steve Weish lauded Andrew Siciliano, who's hosted several NFL Network shows as a pro's pro. He was also one of the hosts for NFL Red Zone. Uh, the Red Zone I've always had is Scott Hansen, but I believe it was DirecTV's Red Zone that had Siciliano for years. Personally, I've learned so much sitting next to him at our cubicles on the news desk. Such a great dude, and damn, this guy's poised and his skill on air gutted by this. Everywhere else on Twitter, Slater said she's never worked with a better anchor than Siciliano. It's crazy. Will Silva, an anchor who appeared on Good Morning Football, expressed gratitude and uh, to colleagues and viewers for an amazing 11 years. That is absolutely nuts. Peter Strager, who worked on Good Morning Football, I've spoken with Will. He knows what he means to me. Good Morning Football show in our families. What can you say other than thank you for an incredible run? Love Will. Love the way he approached every day on our program. Guys, I mean, a lot of names. You know, a lot of names that if you're a football fan, you certainly know. You know, especially, you know, uh, uh, James Palmer and, of course, you know, Melissa Stark. Everybody knows who that is. And then uh, Andrew Siciliano, pretty wild and with Good Morning Football being off the air right now, you just have to wonder what is going on, what is happening behind the scenes at NFL media right now. You know, again, they've been trying to move this product away from them onto somebody else to run and to host, et cetera, et cetera. And you just got to wonder, is there a Disney in the woodpile right now? Is ESPN lurking back there and nobody knows it yet? That's just speculation. But again, NFL media was trying to get Roger Goodell and the rest were trying to get ESPN to to possibly take over this, this NFL network situation. I know a lot of us don't want to see that because we don't want to watch ESPN any more than we have to. The only reason I ever turn it over there is for strictly live sports, and then I turn it right back off. I watch Pat McAfee on YouTube. So, you know, there's that. There's always that lurking in the background. Could it be somebody else? Could it be Fox Sports? Could nothing be happening, and they're just making cuts? I guess, you know, they're moving their home from New York to Los Angeles. Maybe that's got something to do with it. We just don't know. Absolutely wild though tell me what you think peace i'm out till next time thanks for watching the show be sure to like comment and subscribe be sure to tune in next time on black and white sports